Hey guys, so Heidi here with The Successful Fashion Designer and I'm gonna show you how to add measurements to your text sketch in Illustrator and I'm also gonna show you how to do this in real life to kind of mock it up on the body. And so this is something you would wanna do if you're trying to figure out where to place artwork on your garment or your product or where you're trying to figure out how big certain color block or mesh panel portions should be on your design. Anything that you need to tell your factory, this is how big this panel is, this is where the seam line goes. Um, you might wanna mock up not only an Illustrator in real life, and I'm gonna show you how to do both of those. So first we're gonna do an Illustrator, I'm gonna show you a quick little trick and hack how you can do this really simply and really easily. So I have a pair of leggings here and within this pair of leggings, I have this drawn pretty proportionally to real life. And so all I need to do is I need to rescale this artwork to a real life scale. And so I looked at my graded spec and I know that my measurement at the widest portion of the hip, about seven inches down from the waistline, um, excuse me, the top of the waistband is 15 inches across. So if I select this illustration, that's the widest portion I know it's supposed to be 15 inches. So I'm gonna open my transform panel. If yours doesn't come up, just come up to window transform. And the first thing I can see is that my uh, document is set in points. So I wanna change that. So I'm gonna come over to file, document setup. I'm gonna change this to inches. If you're working in millimeters or centimeters, you can do that. But I wanna work in my measurement form. So now I know I'm in uh, inches. Okay, I also wanna make sure that this little icon here is locked so that I'm constraining the width and the height proportions. Now I just know I need to change my width to about 15 inches and that looks like my garment is now at full scale. So what I can do is I can just come over here and I can start creating some measurements. So I'm going to say, let's zoom in a little bit closer. I'm gonna just grab my pen tool and I'm gonna drop an anchor point here and hold the shift key and drop an anchor point right here. And let's change the stroke way a bit bigger so we can actually see it. So with this path selected, I know the height of this panel, look, is about 2.72. So I could say two and three fourths of an inch, okay? The other thing I might wanna spec is how far down from either the waistband point or the top of the waistband does this panel hit. So I can spec that again. Again, I'll just grab my pen tool, drop an anchor point here, hold the shift key, and I've got my smart guides on, so it's really easily kind of allowing me to see where my path is intersecting. So again, I'll just drop another path, and now I can see from the top of the waistband to the start of that panel, is about 14.954. I don't need to be that accurate. I think 15 inches would be sufficient. So this is a really sort of quick and dirty way that you can spec your artwork. Again, I would do that for this panel here to see where does it hit at the out seam and where does it hit at the in seam? What's the height of those panels? All right, from there, I would turn this back into a smaller size CAD. I would add these measurements to my sketch. We can go ahead and do that really fast. So let's see, the two measurements we know is Let's see, 15 for this and two and three fourths for that. So I'm gonna grab my whole sketch and I'm just gonna hold the shift key and scale this down quite a bit. Okay, so now let's say we have this back to the size that we know we wanna work at. Maybe I had taken some notes on a scrap of paper earlier and now I can come in here and I can say, okay, this is 15 inches and this measurement is 2.75 inches. Now I'd probably be a little bit more organized about this and this is uh, what I mean when I say that. So I would select this, uh, these callouts, Command or Control X to delete those, but also copy them to my clipboard. I would lock this layer and I always put my measurements on a separate layer. So I could go ahead and name this measurements and this I would probably have called sketch. I have a whole other tutorial on how to organize your sketches using layers in Illustrator. So you can check that out. Um, but I command or control to X that artwork. Now I can do command or control F while I'm on the measurements layer and it will paste those on the new layer. The other thing I would do is that I like my callouts to be more like brackets. So I would make these brackets um, and I'm just doing this like a quick and dirty way. You could do that with a, um, you could make an art brush to create those brackets, but we can just do this a little bit 
just kind of, again, as I said, quick and dirty. And I would change these, probably take the fill color off, change these to red and there's my callouts. So I would finish the rest of the callouts for the rest of the sketch, but that's a quick and dirty way to figure out what the measurement should actually be by resizing your entire sketch in Illustrator. Now, let's say you hadn't drawn this proportionally and you knew that your garment in real life, the width at the waist was, let's say 15, and the whole height is supposed to be uh, 38 inches. Okay, so what I could do is I could unlock my constrained proportions and I could go the width is supposed to be 15 and the height is supposed to be 38. Now you can see they're a little bit squattier than they were drawn, but my drawings and your drawings may too be a little bit more fashiony, a little bit more dramatic. So they're usually drawn a little bit more slender and a little bit taller. So this might be your actual measurements. These are measurements you would pull from your graded spec, okay? And so you could manually force these in and pull your measurements from there, okay? So let's undo that because we didn't want to change the integrity of our illustration and now we've still got our measurements there. So now let's put on a pair of leggings and let's mock this up in real life. Hey guys, okay, so if you wanna mock this up in real life, you can do this a couple ways. You can do it on yourself, um, you can do it on a garment laying flat, you could do it on a dress form, you could do it on a friend or a coworker. Uh, for this video demonstration, I'm just gonna do it on myself. So I put on a pair of black leggings, I'm gonna mark where I think some of these seam and style lines should go using this roll of white tape. Now this is just medical tape. Um, I have a thin roll that's about half this width, which I really like to use if I'm mocking something up like this. I can't seem to find it at the moment, so this thick roll will have to do. But the point is you just wanna tape it on there with something and you can do it on your body and then you'll take the garment off and then measure it um, and use a mirror and kind of figure out you know, where some of those seam lines might look good. So let's take a look and see what we can come up with here. So I'm just gonna put a piece there to kind of mock up where I think it might look good for that panel to be. And you know, this thick tape maybe is gonna work out to my advantage because I'm gonna mock it up as though that's the entire mesh panel. If you were using thinner tape, you might just do a piece along the bottom where the seam's gonna go and then a seam, one along the top where the edge of that seam's gonna go. And so then for the bottom portion here, I'm just gonna rip a piece. I'm gonna say it's gonna kind of start there, and it's gonna wrap around to there. And so then I would look in the mirror and see how that looks, make sure that looks good. I would take this garment off, and I would measure from here to here, and we can do that. Let me grab my tape, which is, should be in my drawer right behind me, unless my husband stole it, which I think he did. So I would grab my measuring tape, and I would measure from here to here, and I would know the inside width of that panel from here to here, here to here, Make sure that would be the same on the side seam. And then I would also measure from the waist to the bottom to see where that hits. And maybe from the center crotch point or from the waist to the inside to see where this hits from the waist down. So the point is always work with a real garment in real life. You can also hack it up in Illustrator, but it works really well in a real garment because you get a real visual of what you're actually gonna get. It's worth it to spend the extra 10, 20, 30 minutes to mock it up on a real garment than to have your sample come in wrong and have to readjust the style lines in the sampling process. You always can, but it's gonna cost you more time and money in production and sampling. So mock it up on your body, on a dress form or a friend, whatever you have to do, figure out what your measurements are and send those to the factory so they know how to make your garment. Thanks guys so much. I'm so Heidi. If you like what I'm doing, I would love to send you more free content and tutorials. This is the Successful Fashion Designer. Check out my website at SuccessfulFashionDesigner.com. Sign up for my email list. I would love to send you more stuff that you don't see here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.